Ugh. What is going on, YouTube? It's me, Dan Harkins, and today I am playing Black Ops 2 with the Ballista Sniper Rifle using laser sight and the ACOG scope and essentially going to be trying to fucking murder people. Uh, that's usually my goal every time I play this game, but uh, even more so, I can't say I'm uh, some fucking awesome sniper that just goes around and, and quick scopes, no scopes, does all this this fancy schmancy shit. But I tell you, as a sniper, I am uh, in between the, I guess, if I had to categorize myself as being really terrible and being really awesome. Most of the time, pretty awesome. As this game dictates, I have to thank the enemy team for being uh, quite terrible because uh, if they were uh, any bit of, say, being decent, probably wouldn't have had a decent game in Team Deathmatch. Uh, to, to be honest, um, it, it seems for being a sniper, when I take the time to actually be accurate and, and, and pinpoint, I just fucking suck. Like, I try to I try and get in this mind state of being a sniper. I try to find this place, and I stay up there, and I just scope in it. I just try to snipe people. And then even though I, I, I fucking feel that I have my sights on them, I never do. And then I just get really good when I just fucking play, like, um, very obnoxiously and just let luck do its thing and that's what i do here i just pick this shit up because i'm like fuck it you know i don't feel like dying even though i need to get these kills with this weapon i'm just gonna pick shit up and that's kind of um it's different for me if you've been watching this shit you know i stick to one gun and i don't fucking switch out of it i don't pick up other people's weapons uh, very often it's just me this gun and i try to see how far i can go and usually this creates uh, an effect of anger and frustration within me because I'm getting my ass beat, but I refuse to go to a weapon that I know I'm, I'm good with, that I enjoy. And the reason I, uh, that I do this is because I like leveling up weapons and getting shit. That's all I do. If there was no leveling up and all this random shit, I would probably just use the best gun in the game. I don't do that. So... I, I like to level up every weapon, and everyone asks me, well, Dan Harkin, stop being a stupid piece of shit, just show me how fucking good you are. I like to do good with the weapons I have. I don't like to just jump onto the overpowered weapons in the game, and, and they're there, uh, no doubt about it, and and I, I like that they kill people. I mean, it feels good when you pick up this weapon, and you're like, well, you're fucking owning people's faces. But at the same time, I don't get that much satisfaction because I like to be frustrated 99% of the time. And that's why I keep doing these stupid fucking challenges. Just the other week, finished out the challenges for throwing back 25 grenades and killing people or some shit like that. Fucking dumb challenge. Died so many times. But I just like having these emblems, these call titles. This is what drives me to play this game. I like unlocking shit. I just like getting random stuff and, and doing challenges to get it. That's the way I play this game. I've always been playing for challenges. Get these many headshots. Jerk this guy's dick off. Suck this girl's cat. Some shit like that. I do that. I do that all the time. I will do anything just to get a title. If you walked up in life and told me, hey... I'm going to give you a gold medal if you let a fucking elephant fuck you up the ass. I'm probably going to let him fuck me up the ass if it's for a medal. Or money. Maybe both. Maybe I'll get money and a medal. But you get the gist of what I'm saying. Now, I'm not one of those elite snipers that you see on YouTube. That's a quick draw. I fucking, I've tried that shit. That shit doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Does I just suck at it. Mm. But this guy just got rocked by the executioner. Mm. Oh, me? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm eating malto meal because I feel like shit. The malto meal sounded delicious, and now I'm, I find out it's really not that good. It's okay. Oh, miss. That guy, all you have to do is turn around and shoot me. But that wasn't going to happen for him. I switch this gun. I just, I just feel like shooting and just killing people. And you know, 
all this talk about shooting people in video games makes me kind of want to do it out in real life, right? Obviously, that's a joke. I'm sure if you guys are watching the news, if you're in America, you know, there's all these debates about gun control and video game violence. I tend not to bring that shit into my commentaries, but it's just, it's really stupid. Um, I mean, there's actually some things that, in this bill that, that, that was passed or whatever in New York that I do agree with, but overall, I'm not really going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to say there's things I agree with and there are things I don't agree with. Um, but mostly gun violence and video games. Is there a correlation? Does playing a violent video game make you want to kill actual people? Well, the answer is actually yes. I know a lot of us want to deny it, but there's sometimes when you're at work, you're dealing with customers, you're like, you know what? This day would go a lot smoother if I just had a shotgun and shot them right in the face. But see, here's the thing, that you're a sensible, um, mature adult. You understand there are consequences for such actions, and you don't do it. Because I look at it this way. If I kill someone, I can't watch anime. And if I can't watch anime, I can't play video games. And if I can't play video games, I'm just going to blow my brains out. The only person I'm really hurting in the long run is myself. And going to prison really sucks. And that's really it for the commentary. I actually use this to test out some new software shit. So, yeah, I, f I feel like shit, honestly. So, I'm, I'm done talking for now. But, uh, oh, I just won the game. God, I'm so fucking awesome. I don't think they show kill cams in theater here, so. Dead.